Right now, before we get into this video, I do just want to give a bit of a disclaimer. I don't really get it. Like, currently, this is the biggest piece of drama on TikTok, and to me, it just seems very petty and very easily solved, which actually, now that I'm saying it out loud, is pretty much every piece of drama on TikTok. But this one, more than most, I genuinely wasn't even going to cover this, but it's getting millions and millions and millions of views, so, I mean... We know I like views, so we'll carry on, shall we? <laughs> so there's two main people we need to know in this situation. We have Sofa Dorfer, who's an Australian TikToker with 1.2 million followers. And we also have Shelby Sherritt, who is also an Australian TikToker with 2 million followers. I think this might be our first piece of Australian drama on this channel, so if there's any Australians watching this video, you have now been seen, congratulations! <laughs> also, fun fact, I have a list on my phone of five countries that I really want to visit in the next couple of years. Australia's number two. So, there's that. <laughs> right, so I'm going to try my best to do this in chronological order, okay? So, in Australia, there is a thing called the Finders Keepers Market. Maybe it's in other places too. Not exactly sure. But as we can see here, the Finders Keepers Market is where communities come together to shop, explore, and discover the very best from designers, makers, and entrepreneurs in our country. And Soph was one of the people who went to the market to shop, and Shelby was one of the people who went to the market to sell her products. Now, Soph ended up posting a TikTok where she did a bit of like a haul. She was showing the stuff that she bought, and there's many items in this video. But one of the items was actually a mug made by Shelby. As we can see by Shelby's TikTok account here, she makes a lot of stuff. She's very talented, right? She makes like ceramic stuff, like mugs and whatnot. Right, so here's a video of her making a mug here. This isn't the mug in question of today's video, but this is one of the mugs she's made. Clearly, she's very talented. They look very good. You can appreciate the art side of it. Now, from what I can tell, Soph didn't know who Shelby was and she didn't know who she was purchasing from. She didn't know somebody who had a TikTok account. This is just a coincidence that it's ended up on TikTok. But she did end up buying a mug and she had a few things to say specifically on the price and whatnot. And to be honest, it's not that harsh of a video. This, I actually have no idea who I'm going to give this to. Basically, I was at this market, the Finder Ke Finders Keepers Market. How can you use this cup, right? I think it's actually like a kid sippy cup, which is silly because it's ceramic, so if they drop it, it'll smash. Yeah, so straight away, um, I don't believe it's a kid's mug at all. I believe it's for people with, like, disabilities who may need, like, extra help carrying stuff. I think that's what it's for, right? Didn't ask how much it was. She's like, yep, yeah, that's all good. You can tap. It's 100. She's like, oh, no. She's like, it's all good. You can tap. Fucking look at the F-Boss machine, $125. Look how small this mug is. Like, it's literally tiny. <laughs> I mean, yeah, $125 for a mug is a bit insane. What actually is that uh, converted to pounds? I don't actually know how Australian money works. 64 pounds. Okay, that's actually not as insane as what I originally thought it was. It's still ridiculously expensive for a mug though. But for some reason, I thought I was going to convert to 100 pounds. Either way, it is really expensive for a mug. And at the end of the day, she's not making like a really harsh video. She's just talking about how she bought a mug didn't see the price of it, went to go and buy it. Turns out it was really expensive, but she felt bad, so she just bought it anyways. I personally would never spend that much money on a mug. In fact, the mugs that I bought in my new home that I moved into were off Amazon. It was literally the cheapest ones I could find. But I can appreciate that some people probably do, right? Some people probably collect them and whatnot. So I guess there is a market for it. I was like, she like fully wrapped it and put it in a bag and like I was about to tap. So I was like, there's no way I can be like, no, I could have, but I would have felt really bad. So I just got it, but now I'm like, I give this to her. I'm not going to give this to actually one of my cousins that's small because they'll just break it. It's so breakable. It's like hand ceramic, hand ceramic, you know? So I don't know who the fuck that's for, but we'll figure it out. Okay, and then she moves on to the next product. Like I said, it's not that crazy of a video. It's a part of a much bigger video where she goes through many items. And another very key bit of information here is that she doesn't name Shelby. She doesn't name the company. She doesn't name anyone involved. So unless you really watch Shelby's videos and you maybe had seen this specific type of mug before, or maybe you were at the market yourself and knew it was from Shelby's stall, you wouldn't know who this was from, but Shelby saw it and she decided to respond. Now, this is a re-upload because this video is now deleted, I believe, mainly because it got quite a lot of hate after Soph then responded to this. But I think originally this video actually got a lot of support. So I just saw this video and that's my mug. That was only a short little clip of the whole minute that she talks about how I spoke to her as a business at the market. I just wanted to say thank you so, so much for supporting my small business. It means so, so much. Every single time someone purchases a piece that I make, I have literally spent hours and hours finessing, glazing. I hand paint every single one. And that's not including how much money goes towards tax, how much goes towards GST, how much outgoings I have, all my supplies that have also increased in value. It also includes my staff's wages. It's also deeply upsetting to have someone not only question you as a business owner and lie about how I interacted with you. Right, so a few things to point out straight away, and I've seen the comments on 
on this video. I've seen what people's popular opinions are, if you will. Like I said, I think it is kind of blown out of proportion massively. I mean, first of all, people are saying that it's quite passive aggressive. You know, she's like, oh, thank you so much for supporting my business. Cause I've got to pay my staff the taxes and it takes a long time to make them and handcraft them and kind of going through it. And yeah, I can see how that could come across as passive aggressive. I don't know if that's just the way she speaks. Secondly, she keeps saying that she's a small business in this video. And a lot of people seem to doubt that because she has 2 million followers and she sells a lot of products. So a lot of people are saying that she's not really a small business at this point. And thirdly, as we just heard at the end of that clip, she then goes on to say that Soph is lying about their interaction and goes on to claim that Sophie's story is a bit made up. When I spoke to you, I actually recognized you because you'd just been nominated for a TikTok award. And I said, hey, how awesome. Congratulations on your TikTok award. I then explained to you, like I explained to every single person that came to my store over that weekend, that all the prices were placed on the bottom and you can pick up, handle, you don't have to purchase anything. You can just enjoy my store because I get it. Times are tough right now. I don't want to put you in a financial situation. Okay, so what you need to bear in mind now is obviously Soph has responded to this video, but as we're going through this right now, Soph's rebuttal is that this just literally didn't happen and she's very adamant about it. And it's quite convincing in her video, but again, we have no idea unless we see video footage of them at the stall. Who knows how the interaction went? But Shelby is saying here that she said to Soph, just like she said to everyone who went to that stall, you don't have to buy anything, you can just appreciate the work and whatnot. That seems like a lot to say to every single customer. Maybe it's true. Apparently the stall was ridiculously busy. That's why I'm saying that it sounds like a lot to say to every single customer. But again, maybe it is true. But she's also going on now to say that Soph actually picked up the items and was looking at the price before she bought them. I watched you pick things up and look at the prices. You picked up a number of pieces of that strawberry collection because it's freaking cute. It's so cute. And then I showed you other pieces that I had left. Because they were so popular, I barely had any of them left. First of all, right, just on that note, dead quick. As you just said there, she barely had any items left. If every item was around about that same price, so let's say 125 Australian dollars, she made a killing that day. Because I believe this is a picture of her stall at the Finders Keepers Market. And look how many items she has. I think this is the mug in question here, actually, on the second row. So it's definitely in a place where you could pick it up and see the price, but who the fuck knows at this point? But yeah, she has a lot of items, and if she really did nearly sell out or did sell out, uh, yeah, she made a lot of money. After that, you handed me the mug that you were gonna go, and I was like, awesome pick. And I asked you, like I asked everyone that weekend, whether you would like tissue paper or a bit more padding, because I wanted to make sure that the piece was safe wherever they were traveling to that day. And I didn't wrap it until I had an answer. Yeah, so like I said earlier, this situation does seem like it has been blown completely out of proportion, right? Because in Source video, she doesn't even name who actually created the mug. She just goes through it in a haul, says it was a bit expensive, and then puts it down. And in Shelby's response video, she has clearly took it a lot more seriously. I guess she was probably offended by the fact that someone said this about her product. So yeah, I guess she would take it more seriously. But again, even this video really isn't that bad. Unless she is completely lying about how the interaction went, I can get how that would piss Soph off. But at the end of the day, doesn't really matter. We're talking about someone who bought a mug and it was more expensive than what they expected and they don't really seem that bothered about it. Like I said, it was just a short clip in a video saying that they spent too much. That's it. But just to put in perspective how much people care about this, Soph's original video reviewing the product before she even mentioned Shelby is on 3.1 million views and Soph's response that we will now get to is on 7.4 million views. Like I said, this situation is massive and we're going to look at some TikToks from people reacting to this to see what the popular opinion is here. But yeah, I mean, it, it's a bit bizarre. I'm kind of surprised that it blew up the way it did. So I stood in the line. I waited, I waited, I waited, I waited a while, got to the front and I just wanted to have a look at some things. On my mum's life, I did not touch any items. I looked at all the items and I remember talking to a girl who had long, dark brunette hair. Maybe I'm wrong, but I swear I remember having long, dark brunette hair. And I remember seeing the mug and thinking it was really cute. Yeah, so she said that she spoke to someone else and not Shelby. I mean, if we look at the picture that I mentioned before, there is a woman with long brunette hair. I mean, she could be talking about either of these, really. I'm assuming she means this person here because their hair is longer by the looks of it. But that does make sense. And the reason why I personally do tend to believe Source video more, which yet again, I don't have any proof for. So this means really nothing. But the reason why I'm slightly swaying towards this video is because she doesn't really have much of a reason to lie because in her original video, she didn't name anyone. She clearly didn't want this to be a piece of drama on TikTok. She mentioned it in a haul video very briefly and didn't really say anything that bad. But of course, Shelby's video is defending her business and she clearly took it a lot more seriously. So I think she would be more inclined to lie out of the two. But again, 
I don't know. At the mug, I couldn't see that it had two handles, but I wouldn't have bought it. But I thought it had one handle. If, like, she's claiming in the video, which I don't even know if it's if, if it is if it even is her business in the video because I don't remember her looking like that. She said that I was picking up the items, playing with them, like not playing with them, but looking at them, looking at the price. Why would I lie about this? Why would I make a TikTok saying that I had no idea what the price was if I knew the price? It does seem like a weird thing to lie about because it's also not that big of a deal. She is now making this video saying that I was picking it up. I looked at the price on the bottom. I looked at the price of a few things. She's telling me that she talks me through the price and that she talks me through the whole strawberry collection. This did not happen. <laughs> it is quite funny if she genuinely did just make that video and make the whole story up. Because can you imagine being so for that scenario and watching a video and just being like, whoa, 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 whoa. This didn't happen. I just feel like this situation, just one very big misunderstanding. It could have been solved, right? At the end of the day, she purchased the product and she made a video reacting to it and said that it was quite expensive. That's really it. She could, of course, said no to purchasing the product when she saw the price. Uh, I do get the fact that she would be too awkward to do that because I would do the exact same thing in that situation. I'd be like, oh, shit, we've already got to this point. I guess I'm going to have to do it, Anna. But yeah, like I mentioned before, this situation is completely blew up and so many people are making videos, voicing their opinions on the whole situation. So I thought, let's go for a few of them because I don't really have any strong opinions. So let's see some people that maybe do. The amount of hate I have for the mug community <laughs> after they harassed a poor girl for accidentally buying a 125 Australian dollar, 80 US dollar tiny mug and being shocked by it. She didn't even name drop the company or anything. <laughs> Sorry, I just love that first sentence. The amount of hate I have for the mug community. I mean, you don't have to bring them all into it. The way I have just woken up, watched 50 videos made about this mug, deep dived into the mug mystery, watched both Sofa and Shelby's responses. Shelby girl, you seem sus as. I've never been so invested in the ceramic world and I fear I never will again. <laughs> are we team Sofa or Shelby? I've got to know. God, people are taking this seriously, aren't they? I mean, actually, let's have a look at the comments. What team are people on? The Shelby vid was intense. Suking about no chat. Well, I, I don't get what that's supposed to say. Telling Soph that she can give the mug back so I can go to someone more deserving and that the two handles is for someone with mobility issues. I mean, I, I guess that is true. That is why the mug was made, right? Also, Shelby uses molds. It's not necessarily less work, but $125? Yeah, I'm not going to voice my opinions on ceramic works. I have no idea what that should be priced at. We've got someone here saying Shelby, she's an unproblematic angel. Sofa didn't mention the business, nor did she put anything down. She just spoke about how the price was surprising. Shelby wasn't mentioned. I mean, yeah, it seems like people are slightly 50-50. To be honest, I don't know much about the Sofa and Shelby drama, but what I do know is that in any economy, $125 for a ceramic mug, that size is a crime, and I'm on the side of justice. <laughs> nice. The way I just watched 50 videos on the Sofa and Shelby mug drama and still think Shelby's response doesn't justify why a ceramic mug is a $125 for the size that it is. Soph didn't even say anything bad about the business and still bought it. Shelby's response was so unnecessary and her business of 2 million followers is not a small business. Whose team are you on? Yeah, I mean, I think it should be pretty clear from my video. I'm not on anyone's team. I think it's all a bit petty. And I can see both sides. I can see you being shocked by an expensive item, you know? But I can also see why that item might be priced at that because it's art at the end of the day. Art does go for a lot of money sometimes. So I just think it's a very blown out of proportion. That's my opinion. I would love to know your thoughts down below in the whole Muggergate situation, if we are calling it that. And uh, yeah, if you did enjoy this video, please do a like down below, subscribe if you are new. And until the next one, I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, goodbye.